y'all and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna take y'all on a little journey through the los angeles fashion district in downtown la to show y'all exactly what i did when i opened up my first company now before we get into the video i want to tell you guys that this is not a video on how to start a business this is a video on how i started my business i am not an expert i'm sure i've made lots of mistakes and there's better ways about doing things but i'm gonna only tell you guys my story through my personal experience let's go um, another thing too is i'm not gonna lie this video was a little uncomfortable for me to decide to make or not because you know coming from that stereotype of like you don't share your supplier you don't share where you you know get the products that make you money but why am i going to sleep on knowledge and information that can potentially put money in other people's pockets this was something that was once really really fun to me so i'm going to share some knowledge with you guys today so when you are heading down to the fashion district the fashion district is pretty big but the wholesalers are exclusively in the general area of 11 San Pedro and Crocker. So this is the fashion district in downtown LA. All you'll see here on the side is all wholesale stores. In order to shop at most or all of these stores in this specific area, you need to have a wholesale license. I'm not sure how that works for people outside of California, but in California, it's actually super quick and super easy to get your wholesale license. And wholesale just basically means that you get items and they're not taxed. And it also means that you buy in bulk. So we're actually going to go to one of the stores that has really good merchandise. And we're going to show you exactly how it works, how you buy clothes. So this is Liam. He is the owner and his wife is actually the designer. And do you have any yeah. favorite items in the store? Like oh, yeah. some of your favorite? I just so many. Okay. I tried new arrival here. And this body suit. And okay. this dress is just delicious and everybody loves This dress? Yeah. No, okay. I mean this dress. This one? Yeah. Yes. In Hawaii. Very nice. Yeah. Is this bodysuit going to be something that's tight at the end? Uh, and loose at the top? Or? Yeah, it's like cowlick. Co I'll show you the picture. Okay. Now your items, do they come in two 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 or no, three, three two one? Three two one. Yeah, three small, two more one. Okay. Everything is sold in either two two two, which is two small, two medium, two large, or three two one, which is three small, two medium, one large. So if you wanted to buy something single, you go to the actual alley, which is a place that everyone goes to get their stuff, and it's gonna be more expensive because you're not buying it wholesale. But you could pretty much get the same things here from the shops in there because they all buy here to sell at their stores in the alley. Okay. 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 So uh, it's like this. It's loose yeah. and then yeah, the side. Loose. Okay. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Now, when I buy from the store, do you allow to use your photos or do I take my own? Uh, you do what? I can send you. Okay, so yeah. you have photos that Okay, so you have photos that I can use, but of course I take my own as well. Yeah. Another little side tip that is super helpful, especially for somebody who, like me who was new, is I would always ask the, the manufacturers if I had rights to the photos. Now, typically when you go in and they do show you photos, they show you stock photos which belong to them. Sometimes they'll also show you stock photos that belong to their customers, but you obviously can't have rights to those. So stock photos that belong to them, you can also use on your site. Now, the reason why this is something that I like to point out is because if you don't have money for models, if you don't have money for studios, if you don't have money for Photoshop and graphics for your website, this is a really good selling point for you to use professional high quality pictures if you do buy from this particular store. So you always wanna ask, if I buy from this store and I buy these products, do I have rights to use these photos? Nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, they are going to email you the photos of each item that you bought with multiple angles so that you could use them on the store. Really nice, you can tell that it's double lined and then it comes in three different colors. So usually when I used to buy products, I would buy the colors that I think that my demographic would like. 
and I would buy smaller quantities and then after they sell out, then you buy more. Typically, pretty much anywhere in the downtown LA wholesaler district, you're gonna have to buy a minimum of six pieces. And I would unfortunately say that about 80% of the wholesale stores in downtown LA only sell sizes small, medium, and large. There are other stores that are dedicated to plus size and some stores actually offer plus size sizes, but majority of them will only sell small, medium, and large. And that's the you can really high quality meat. Yes. yes. So that's why the, my, my customer, they love the meat style. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's yeah, stretchy. Uh, so it allows you to give that nice yes. And it's really good. Thanks. Oh yeah, and this is, and how much is something, how much is this one? This one is uh, 20 75 20 75 wow. And then how much is this bodysuit here? 12 dollars. 12? Yeah. And good. that quality. These are the same fabric? Yeah, it's the same fabric. What colors do you have in stuff like this? Uh, right okay. now I have four colors. Okay, so you have this. Yeah. Let's see it. This quality is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So after I've taken a look around, I like to pull items to the side and ask how each individual item is priced. Now this is obviously is important because you're going to take the cost of the item and then set a price for the item and that's how you're going to get your profit margin, which is what you keep in your pocket. And then these you can mix and match. Yes. She wears the bodysuit. Oh, that's your wife? Yeah. She looks good! Yeah. Okay, so this bodysuit is which one? It's this one. And yes. when did you get this in? Uh, last month. Okay. Last month. You have <laughs> already did cut this one two times. Already? Already. Do you have a photo? Of, of course. Of course you do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Actually, she wear this one okay. with the long jogger pants. These ones? Yeah. This is so separate. No, but I'm saying you can buy um, you can with this it. or you can buy it with We're the shorts. Just, yeah. Okay, but each individual item is separate so that you can mix and match. Yeah, I can. And then you have these colors here. Those colors. And each of these colors comes with... Yeah, exactly the same over there. Okay. And then once again, it's double. it's double. Everything's double. It's so double. business isn't as hard as it seems, and I sometimes think that we complicate it because it seems far fetched to be able to go in, pick out cute things that you already wear, and make money off of it. But I promise it's super easy. I'm an LA native, so the fashion district and the Santee Alley is something that I used to go to when I was growing up. And to be honest, you know, a little hustle is kind of in my blood. So I was really able to just pick up and then make it my own. But if you don't, don't really have a business sense, you don't know where to start, you don't know how to market, you don't know um, what website to, to use to sell your clothes, there's always books online. I would suggest that anybody who is starting out and wants to open a store, listen to 40 Rules of Internet Business Success it's on Audible because it gives you a beginner-friendly step-by-step on how to be persistent, how to stay motivated, and how to start a business. Audible is great because all you have to do is pop on your AirPods or get in the car and you can learn as you go. You guys can get your first audiobook for free and get two Audible originals within the first 30 days by going to www.audible.com slash findguru or you can text findguru to 500-500. Audible also has Audible originals which are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers in worlds as diverse as literature, journalism, theater, and more. So now we are going to choose what I'm going to buy. I'm debating between this outfit here because this is going to be nice for summer, fall, spring, winter and you can dress it up, dress it down, make it winter or make it summer. Another piece that I really like is this set here and then it also comes in these different colors and I think I'm going to take the um, I'm gonna take the neon bodysuit in the pink. In pink? Yes. Okay. This one here. Mm -hmm. right? yes, yes, please. So for people to come in to buy wholesale from you, all they need is the seller's permit. Yes. Yes. Um, so in order to buy anything wholesale, you're gonna need a seller's permit, which for California residents, it's super easy to get, and I will go ahead and explain that in a later video. Basically, it's just a number that you are a proven um, wholesaler and that you won't get taxed on your merchandise. 
And if people aren't in Los Angeles, but they shop your store, are they able to do ship to yeah, them? Yeah, I ship them. Okay, and do you guys have a website on Fashion Go yeah. or where you're working? You're on Fashion Go. You're on Fashion. Fashion Go? I know there's a large chunk of you guys who are watching and you guys aren't in California or aren't in LA and you guys are trying to open up a store. I asked Liam if he had any website where other people can see his wholesale items and he said that they are actually registered on Fashion Go. There's two websites that are heavily used in, town, in, in the fashion district in downtown LA, which is Fashion Go as well as LA Showroom. These websites are exclusive for wholesalers and in order to have access, you once again have to have your seller's permit. So step one in all of this is get your seller's permit because after you enter all your information, it takes about like one to three business days to get approved and then you can shop everything, any item, any, any store that's registered on these sites, you can shop and buy wholesale and they will ship it to you. Do you guys do pre-orders on, yes. on Fashion Go? Okay. So you don't have to technically be in yeah. downtown LA to get stuff from here. Obviously it's great because you get to touch the fabric, you get to see the quality, but if you do a little bit of research and footwork on Fashion Go and then you want to make a trip out here later so that you know exactly where to go and you're not wasting time, that's a good idea so that you could cut corners. Um, I would kind of do all of your browsing on these websites and then plan a trip and fly to LA and just go to each showroom just so that you can actually feel the fabric because some of these stores be trying to finesse you. So now what he's going to be doing is writing me an invoice um, which is kind of like a business receipt um, of what I'm buying, the quantities, the pricing and all of that. And that, that I can use for my records at a later time to see how much inventory I bought. Thank you how much inventory I bought, how much I sold, what I lost, and at the end, when I do my taxes, everything can be um, nice, organized, and cohesive, and legal, because you don't want to mess with the IRS. <laughs> and another tip that I suggest is you to get a business debit or credit card. I like to use my airline card because I get miles, and then I can ultimately fly anywhere for free. I personally always use my Amex because it gives me the most benefits. I get free flights, it's increased my credit score, and it's allowed me to grow my credit score for leverage for the opportunity to pull out a business loan, a car loan, or a house loan. Everything is on one card, everything's organized, because before I used to just buy on different cards by cash, not organize my invoices, and then at the end of the year, when you wanna do your taxes, everything's unorganized. And a benefit, once again, is you get miles. So, miles are great because when you start really doing business in different cities, different states, or you want to travel for leisure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, you're buying this anyways for your company, so you might as well acquire points while doing so. So this is my invoice. Thank you, Liam. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We will see you next time. So all the items come in one big plastic bag. I actually took it out of the plastic bag. And this particular seller sold all their items in three, two, one, which is three small, two medium, and one large. I actually have one of the smalls on right now. I really love the fabric. I really love the way that it's tight on my waist. I love all of the detailing and it's super comfortable. This is something that I always used to do too before I would buy larger quantities. I like to wear it myself wear it with different options, wear it out, wear it at night, and just see how it holds up and to see if I it's something that I wanna invest in to sell to my customers and my audience. So each one comes individually wrapped in a plastic bag. It also has the size, the color, and the SKU number. These SKU numbers and sizes and colors are gonna be super beneficial when you start selling larger inventory because you do wanna be as organized as possible. So including the one that I'm wearing, these are the three smalls. And then you have two medium. And then you have one large. Once you do start selling higher volume, these barcodes and numbers and colors are gonna make a big difference. So you do wanna make sure that you're organized as possible. Once again, you can sell these in, in these actual bags um, for your customers because it does give it a professional look. They know that it's, um, that it's, that it's fresh out of the package and that they are the first person to try it on. And the next step is to sell online. If you guys do want a video on how I would private label my items, which basically means put my own branding 
on my clothes with my custom hang tags, how I created my website, how I did my marketing. Don't forget if you are starting out and you need some guidance, listen to audiobooks. Don't forget you could get your first audiobook for free with two Audible originals within 30 days when you go to www.audible.com slash findguru or text find guru to 500 500 thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope this was helpful and informative if you guys have any suggestions go ahead and put them in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next upload Peace.